okay um, we have to initialize the point which is obviously zero at this point we use uh, we initialize the delay and as I said in the previous tutorial we will use the u sleep function which is not wait for milliseconds so not one hundred second uh, millisecond is one second but it use microsecond which is one million so we will use uh, uh, we will use uh, one uh, one thousand one hundred thousand oh this is very big number so I can tell it in English but yeah that is it so two one and then four zero okay we make the get equals to false because we uh, don't get the food uh, just right now and uh, we will set the direction so direction equals to left this is the default where the snake will start actually and uh, and now we have to uh, see the random number gener generator because you remember yeah we need that uh, CSTD lib so yeah I forget to uh, that we have a uh, random number generator in it so yeah we uh, see the random number generator and, and um, so we can uh, generate random numbers real random numbers okay we have to call a function called put food okay put food uh, we will write this function but as I said this will be this will put a food somewhere <laughs> okay now we make the edge of the game so uh, fill the all of the edge with this character okay let's get started first we make the upper horizontal so that okay so we use a for loop so for int i equals zero i left the max with minus one because it starts from zero so uh, yeah and uh, we use the i plus plus okay by the way maybe uh, we should use ah, never mind it's a it will be a little smaller uh, but I think that if we go to the back suite then we go to the edge of the screen hmm, maybe okay never mind about that okay this will be very simple as all of them we just move to the correct uh, coordinate and add the char which is the, the char we want the older char okay so move and zero i because remember the first is the epsilon coordinate so the vertical and the y the next is the horizontal mm. so this i okay and the simple add the character this older char okay uh, next thing we want to do the others too so just simple simple copy it and uh, actually max with uh, max with uh, oh not with height Ma uh, uh, max height minus two we oh we use the minus two because we want uh, uh, one uh, character uh, so because we start from zero and we want to uh, leave a, a, a row where the hmm, you know where the points will be right out okay we use another for loop this for loop uh, starts from zero as well so but it will go down so vertically uh, max height minus one 
and oh no minus minus two because as I said we want a line there or max hmm. yeah minus one okay because we use less than not less equal and then I plus plus and we just simple use the move move I and zero because we want here this here so the left edge so that's why we press zero in it okay and at ch so at character and we use this character again okay and the next will be almost as simple as that uh, just we use instead of the zero the uh, max width so max width minus two okay uh, we will test it out soon as soon as it's possible but for now uh, uh, we have to make the constructor as well before we go mm, too much okay we use the move function uh, again so we will move here to write out the point so uh, yeah so next height minus one and zero okay so yeah we will uh, go here minus one because it starts from zero okay and uh, actually print w you can use it similarly as print f in normal c standard c uh, we use a person sign d so it will know that we want to write a point and actually we write the point uh, points uh, actually i think that's what it's called okay and we need to make actually make it here a new for loop this for loop will actually draw the snake we already uh, uh, put the all of the snake parts but we didn't do uh, draw the actual snake to the screen so and we just okay uh, you should already know what is this the snake dot size gives the how many elements this will give actually five and so we go through all of the five elements and we just move to the snake i so the actual part dot y first and then the snake i dot x so first we go uh, so don't forget y is the first and the x is the second parameter and we just simple add age and we all uh, write the part uh, part char there okay that's uh, simple enough okay and actually mm, we need to uh, actually write the food to the screen so move food dot x uh, y first and food dot x remember we call the uh, put food here so it will set the food which is uh, here so it is a snake part object and called food so it has an x and y uh, coordinate and actually uh, put a actually move there and at ch there okay we will write the portrait soon but for that okay and we refresh the entire screen another anchor that's called uh, this will actually write to the screen everything so as you can see now this refresh that we refresh the screen once it is very useful because we don't have to delete and write over again uh, everything so uh, I hope you understand why and actually we make the constructors now snake class and we use the tilde sign because it is the constructor snake class okay 
now we just uh, put a few things here first of all no delay we turn it off because we use the get ch here once uh, and we want to wait uh, for us so ftd scr and false we turn the simple off and we use the get character so uh, the program will not automatically uh, exit and we use the end win function which is just deinitialize everything that this uh, init scr initialized okay uh, and actually we to make it uh, uh, compilable we have to make the put food function so snake class put food okay we don't use the actual code here just for temporarily we set the food dot oh food dot x equal to I don't know ten and food dot y equal to ten. All right, uh, I think we doesn't call any other functions uh, in here which is not initialized, so we can try to actually compile. Okay, uh, we actually cannot compile it because. Uh, we already just make the interface and the implementation of the class we have to um, make an actual object so actually we call this snake.h okay simple enough and this will be very simple uh, snake dot uh, oh snake class s and actually that's it it should already give a result now so we can start to compile it so g plus plus snake dot c uh, dot cpp and main dot cpp and we use the allen courses remember as the compiler don't know uh, where to get uh, these things okay uh, it is good that we compile it because we find the mistake that it is easier to uh, uh, fix it before the uh, code will be grow too much so the 63 this should be a letter R not W okay the next is 65 add oh what am I doing here so at ch food dot y and food dot x okay next one uh, 65 uh, yeah that was what I okay oh a semicolon you don't you shouldn't put semicolon after macros uh, what oh I do a stupid thing this is the move not so now we can what is it called this is uh, uh, hmm, food I see it so char yeah foo we call it foo all right now as you can see why the macro is dangerous uh, okay now we just run the program and perfect just as expected so here's the uh, this is the character 290 uh, the the snake is from the x characters and this food is uh, asterisk character and we don't uh, we haven't go through the last line so there is the point here so right here okay I think I should be it should be enough for now it is a very good uh, result all right the next thing is to actually put something to the uh, put food function because now it's uh, it will always put the uh, food to the uh, same place 